Hey, this is BB. I'm here with my dog Ruby. It's past my bedtime, but <laughs> I just felt like doing this. So this is what we're doing. It has been <laughs> the craziest time doing these extra um, third dates. I'm glad we're doing it because I feel like we didn't get the full picture of anybody until you had the third date with them. Um, and it reveals so much about each of the characters the more you hang out with them. Um, I appreciate the reliability of Craig because he's pretty upfront. Everything, that, whatever, what you see is what you get with Craig, which I appreciate, right? He's your, he's your buddy. He's your best friend. He's a happy dude. You hang out with him and he just stays a happy dude. Although, when you hang out with him um, at the camping trip, he reveals a lot more about kind of the stress he's dealing with, right? Brian, what can I say? <laughs> you get it. Um, Hugo has slipped down the ranks like nothing else. Like the, like, <laughs> like a slip and slide. Like he's gone. Um, so that is a surprising upset. There has been a shakeup in these ranks. Um, and I think originally it went something like, I think it went Matt, Craig, Joseph, Hugo, Robert, Brian, Damien. I think that's how it went. <laughs> um, I'm, oh, my dog's getting a drink of water. I'm still holding Matt in really high regard. We'll find out more about him. Um, I, I just, to recap, I kind of really appreciate that he has such in-depth conversations with your character. Um, I do wish to see more of his kid and his interaction with his kid, and I'm hoping maybe we'll see some of that in the third visit with him. We'll see. Um, if not, that's really kind of disappointing. Um... Because it's obvious that, like, they have a good relationship. They're solid. Um, but <laughs> my new rankings, Brittany's Believe It or Not. I don't know why I said Brittany, because it's Ripley. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Um, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Shit. Okay. Just, that's embarrassing. Um, we're still, we're still holding Matt up as prime dad. But we'll find out in the next couple of episodes what happens, because I haven't been able to predict shit. Brian and Hugo prob probably just, like, the exact opposite of what I was expecting. So, Matt is pretty good up there. Um, and this... <laughs> I, I don't want to say it. You know what I'm going to say. Brian, too. I know. <laughs> What happened? What happened? His <laughs> his whole arc was just so well organized. Um and like really <laughs> brought it home. He just encompassed everything that um it really felt like that was kind of what the game not not that that you were that of all the characters Brian was the one you were supposed to pick. I feel like that one was best designed to follow a linear narrative of some kind that fits kind of the the themes of the story. So you get the redo, you get the kids hanging out, you get um kind of the reconciliation. I just I was a fan. Craig, obviously next up is third. Um he's a sweetie pie, he's your buddy. Um I think that y'all are good for each other. I think hi Ruby. Are you back? Um, I think that he, he's a little bit boring. There's not as much, um, as there's, I mean, he's pretty one note, right? Um, there's a slight surprise at the end with how stressed out he is, but it's pretty solidly hinted at throughout. He, there's no surprises with him. Um, and I really wish you could have gotten to know the twins a little bit more. Hugo, no. So <laughs> we go, we got Matt Craig, Matt, meh. This is a hot mess. I may re-record this whole fucking thing. Matt, Brian, Craig. I don't know where Joseph and Robert are at. Um, I have anxiety about them. <laughs> they upset me with their presence because... <laughs> what's the point of having characters you can't date in a dating sim? I don't get it. Whatever. Um, they're up there. I would probably say Joseph, Robert. And then Hugo, Damien. Hugo <laughs> has fallen hard and cannot get up. 
<laughs> that's where we're at. That's where we're at. So that's probably the order in which we will do things. If y'all really want to see Joseph, Robert, and Damien's endings, we'll see. Um, I have heard mixed reviews about Matt's endings. Um, he's such a fucking juggernaut because of his mini game. I think that for a while people didn't even think you could have a positive ending with Matt. So I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I don't know if I can achieve an S rank because I'm so shitty at mini games. Um, so we'll find out because here we go. All right. <laughs> I hope you're as afraid as I am, because I'm... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. If I fuck up too badly at that minigame and I keep get pulling, like, B rank b because of that, um, I'll just get power through it and then show you the aftermath of it. I won't sh force you to watch a recording of me fucking up this stupid minigame six times. Because, good God. Um, <laughs> I'm so down for that. Uh, yeah, I asked you, right, to come with you. To come with him. He doesn't have a, um, card or anything. What am I talking about? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so tired. He doesn't, just, he just happens to have a second ticket, is what I meant to say. Not that that was discernible <laughs> at any level. Um, but he just happens to, he, well, I guess, maybe he, it's like, he's so familiar with the venue that if he has a plus one, people are just like, yeah, that's fine. I don't know. Um, yep, when was the last time I went to a concert? I went with Amanda. Oh my god. I made the dumbest decision. I should have just gone to sleep. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Amanda, how do I be cool? <laughs> um... I think I've mentioned this before, but I just really appreciate her design. Um, she is obviously a little bit alternative. <laughs> alternative to what? No, I just mean like the army jacket, um, kind of the sassy attitude, the funky hairdo. Yeah. But she's got the cute little bow and the cute little panda thing, um, and her hair is not like... Like, if she puts her, if she put her ponytail down, it'd probably just be, like, a bob. Um, so she looks young and, like, kind of adorable and approachable at the same time of being, like, uh -huh. yeah, she, she's just kind of a funky teen, but she's not, like, she's not like Lucian, where she's, like, really pushing the boundaries mm. of stuff. And, um, I hope we get to learn more about him, maybe through Damien's shit, if I have to do it. Um, he seems like there's a lot more depth to him than meets the eye. Um, because he has... for He's not like Ernest Wright, where he has a really bad relationship with his dad. Um, he seems to be disciplined differently by Damien than Ernest is by Hugo. And he I think he cares about his dad um, in a way... In a more visible way than Ernest does. Um, and so that's just interesting to think about. <laughs> uh, I wonder, no, I was going to say, I wonder if he and um, Ernest have talks about, like, their respective parenting, um, and their parents, like, s s just weirdness, they're both so weird, all right? Hey. You made it. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a guide, so hold my hand and we'll see if we can make it through this alive. Um... Yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. You better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's watch that new. <laughs> what? <laughs> new, short for venue, you know. We go to see dope certs. <laughs> he likes it. Oh my god. That's something I noticed with the, with the golf fairway shit, too. <laughs> he loves it when you just make shit up to sound cool. He knows you're full of it, but he can't be sure because he's as much of a fucking loser as you are. Are you making this stuff up right now? <laughs> I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks are cool. Are Pet Rocks not still cool? <laughs> Just kidding. I have no idea what I'm hey. in for. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everyone holds signs and scream cries? <laughs> yeah, I got two lined up next month. That's right. I wish we knew how old Carmencita was. This precious child. 
<laughs> it occurred to me that like <laughs> at least a third of my love for Craig is just love for River that has been transplanted over. <laughs> Date him, steal his child, and run. Stay strong. <laughs> I get to I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. He's such a sweetie. Like he's he's a little bit he's a little bit as much of a bumbling kind of nerd as you are. <laughs> but his heart's in the right place. Hey, so I appreciate yeah. that. And he's open with you in a way that I think um, a lot of characters are not. <laughs> um, right off the bat. He's, oh. he's chill. He's a chill kid. Um, it's just weird because, yep, scene, right? Never again. That's confusing. Oh. You'll get used to it. Yep. We know all that. I'm dying here. <sighs> oh, God. Why did I do this? I was like laying here on the couch and I was like, it's time to go to bed. And then I was like, no, no. Dream daddy. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you made what? it. Hmm. Okay, I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Me and Matt have that same issue with like loud noises and sudden movements are not our jam. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's so funny. Hey, yeah. Socially awkward dude. I'm so afraid of all these people. <laughs> but he handles it so well. I think that, you know, I do that too. I, I don't like groups. I don't like talking to people. I am not an extrovert, but I can be really gregarious when, like, the moment calls for it. And I get along with most people. Um, <laughs> where do you put your tongue, Noodles? Where do you put your tongue? No. Um, <laughs> but I, you know, you suffer through it, um, and it's, it's an act of hey. bravery, goddammit. <laughs> this scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit they listen to it. <laughs> hey. Oh, right, Pablo. Um, who, again, so specifically drawn. <laughs> Please stop yelling at me. And also Tally Ho are both solid options. This is more true to my heart. Please stop yelling at me. <laughs> I love this whole speech. Noodles is such a pumpkin. I'm already kind of on edge because this is an unfamiliar place and I don't know anybody here. And I'd appreciate it if you'd stop singling me out. And I'm sure you're cool, but it's making me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> and he's such a, he does such a good job. He's like, he just, he adjusts his behavior immediately. He's like, yep. All right. Meet, yep, yeah, Pablo. Yeah. Hey. He's alright. I really appreciate this kind of like um, <laughs> adoptive father son relationship they got going. Um, it's sweet. <laughs> and uh, I think Matt is um, supportive of this kid. Hey. Right? He hires him to his, uh, to his bakery there at the end. And I. <laughs> Stop. I don't like that with them both looking at me like that. We get a bro hug. My dude. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. This is good. <laughs> they have the same beard. Oh no. Hey, yeah. It takes so much more effort to have like that half beard than like a full beard, I think. I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how beards work. No, because you could get like a razor and like set it at like a like a two or something, and then it would keep it out of stubble, right? Am I right? Don't tell me. Hmm. <laughs> all right, we gotta listen to these uh, these improv artists who smash all their instruments, right? Hands with earplugs. Thanks. All right. <laughs> well, we'll f we'll end this uh this raucous concert in the next episode. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Man, do I not make any sense tonight. I hope this is tolerable. If not, we'll just re-record. Don't worry about it. All right. You have a good evening, even though you're probably watching this during the daytime. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Bye.